Grab some popcorn and get comfortable because these movies are kicking in that closet too. Another month, another opportunity to discuss the crucial community issues of what is new and queer on Netflix, Apple TV, Amazon Prime, and in all the other streaming services. God, I love you. I'm gonna eat you out so attentively tonight. Not if I eat you out first. Wait a minute. What if we eat each other out at the same time? Okay, you're a the genius. It is fair to say that for the past few years, streaming services have built a reputation as the most inclusive source of LGBTQ content. And it is fair to say there are more LGBTQ characters on television than ever before. So please do yourself a favor and give them all a try. Believe me, watching these films and TV shows will be easy. Deciding which one to start with might be a little bit more complicated. Anais in Love A meeting with a much older publisher, Daniel, leads to a brief love affair. But Anais finds herself much more curious and intrigued by Daniel's wife, Emily, a successful writer and novelist. Bonjour, you're Emily Ducré? Oui. I'm going to read one of your books. I haven't yet finished, but I love it. I have the impression that we have very sensitive sensibilities. Pardon, but I have a rendezvous with my editor, justly. Yes, yes, of course. Another chance of meeting brings them together, sparkling a slow-burning flirtation that promises to catch fire and become something more meaningful. Benedetta, a 17th-century nun, finds herself trapped in a forbidden lesbian affair. Tu me trouves belle? Tu veux dire que tu le sais pas? Non, on n'avait pas de miroir chez nous. Tu es belle. But it is her shocking religious visions that threaten to shake the church to its very core. Une âme propre exige un corps propre. Je pense aussi fort, je peux. L'air de mon sang. Je vais tomber. Ce qui reste de l'eau pour que je me rince. Sœur Benedetta. I know that many of you have been asking about the release date. And the movie is finally out in the US on December 3rd. Before I forget, can I kindly remind you to please hit that like button now. The truth is, as you may know, the more likes I get, the more I'll be able to afford iced coffee. So thank you. 143. A woman starts a lesbian relationship after leaving her male fiancé and family devastated. But a violent attack puts her in the hospital with amnesia. Jeannie, it's me. Sorry, I don't remember you. What's important to you right now? Obviously, getting my memory back. With nothing to lose, she begins the task of uncovering who she really is and who attacked her. Matcha and Vanilla. A lesbian couple in a conservative Japan must fight to stay together when one of them is diagnosed with a terminal cancer. <laughs> Big Mouse is an animated comedy about teens. That girl is so cool, right? She's the fucking coolest. She just left and you already want to text her. Yeah, and I don't want her to be friends with anybody else ever. Why is that? Because you love her, honey. In a world where things like hormones, mental health, and more unseen forces are actually represented by monsters who follow you around and you and only you can see them. You want to be Ali's number one. I do. You want to buy cheap matching necklaces. Yeah. And choreograph stupid dances together. Yeah. The show is funny, relevant, and very gay as we explore Jesse's feelings towards Ali. Oh my God, what do I do? Do I look? I want to look. Should I look away? What's normal? See, Connie, you're freaking her out. But I'm completely <laughs> transfixed by the boobies. Hello, Earth to Jesse. <laughs> right. Which is sweet, funny, and equally awkward. Gentified. In season two, the fight to keep the restaurant continues. Anna Morales, the lesbian artist, uses her art to fight for her family. As she gets a big contract to draw Nike ads, she makes her family problem a national issue. Choose to be with the ones who choose me, who see me, who love me. Yes, you 
time. So, so. The show is wonderful, sweet, real, relevant and funny with a powerful message that will keep you engaged until the very end. Hey. Have you had any water? Do you still think I'm hot? Anna, I'm your boss, remember? Then answer the question. Oh, so this is the girl you can't stop talking about. Really? Olivia. Halle Berry, starring in a queer version of Creed, is now out on Netflix. You used to be Jackie Justice, right? Still am. Oh, yeah. We'll see. Well, you had your 15 minutes of fame. Why are you here? Bruce tells the story of Jackie, a mixed martial arts fighter that failed the one thing she was ever good at, fighting. I don't want to spoil the movie in any way, but to watch Budokan and Jackie navigate falling from friends to lovers is captivating. You ain't a coward, Jack. You grew up with damage and survived on rage, and that rage carried you into the ring. Show them what you're made of and get some money, because you deserve that. You deserve every good thing in this world. Passing, a beautiful period drama in black and white. The film tells the story of Irene, a black woman who finds her world completely turned upside down when she is reunited with her former childhood friend, Claire, who is passing as white. Pardon me, I don't mean to stare, but I think I know you. Claire. Mm -hmm. Whilst the queerness in passing is not explicit, there is a strong, tense sense of desire between the two of them. I always admired you, though. You were always so calm and beautiful in the face of everything. Me? Come on now. You were always the beauty. Not how I see it. The film makes you wonder whether both are actually repressing their true feelings towards each other. Have you ever thought of what you'd do if John found out? I'd do what I want more than anything right now. I come up here to live. In Harlem. With you. The movie is beautifully filmed and left me craving for black queer period dramas. On Apple TV+, Plus, the month of November was extremely queer. Currently, we have The Morning Show that has finally returned for season two. Season one was amazing. I don't like it when my woman works. Are you serious? <laughs> no, I'm not serious. I have a little studio on the ranch. No, not that. Uh, am I your woman? Well, um... I'm not gonna lie to you. You do scare me a little. Okay. But, um, yeah, I'm some, something like that. And seeing Reese Witherspoon playing a queer character in season two fills my heart with so much joy. My roots are really rotten. And then by some miracle, I have this woman in my life that when I'm with her, I see what I should aspire to be. This type of representation is so important for those who are questioning that sexuality only later in life. Maybe it's good that this is happening, you know, because it's going to force me to say that I care about somebody. I've never really done that before. Because you can lose something that you want. I do think I want Laura. Dickinson. What if Emily Dixon was in love with her best friend, spoke like modern-day millennials, and had no doubts about being herself? Emily, you're a poet. You work so hard on your poems. You want every line to be perfect. But I want the mess. I want you. Dickinson's third and final season has returned, and it takes place during the Civil War. I love you. I wasn't expecting that. I love you more than anything or anyone on earth, and you need to know that so deeply that you never doubt it. The show is a genius piece of work and art, and I'm totally devastated to see it come to an end. It is truly one of the most underrated TV shows out there, and I will highly recommend it to anyone.
The Two of Us. The movie is now available on Amazon Prime to buy or rent, and it is a beautiful love story about the struggles of coming out to your family very late in life and the fight to stay together against all the odds. Nina and Madeline, two retired women, are secretly in love for decades. But from everybody's point of view, they are simply best friends and neighbors living on the top floor of their building. Comme ça, tu ne vends plus l'appartement. Tu rien dit à tes enfants, non? Tu n'as pas osé? Non. Monsieur Bremont, ça vous pose un problème, euh, les vieilles gouines? Pardon? Les gouines, les gouignottes, les lesbiennes, ça vous pose un problème? Enfin, non. Tu vois, Mado? Tu vois, Mado? Tout le monde s'en fout! Tampa Bay's. I have to be honest, at first it is hard to gasp who is who and how is everyone connected. But by the fifth episode, it does feel like a solid story. The seeds of a reality, television, magic are in place. Do you like her? Yeah, I do. Okay. But I gotta move with caution. You know what I mean? Why? Because she's straight. But there's a lot of bisexual women out there that have only ever dated men and are scared to approach women, but that doesn't make them any less bi. Like, they just haven't ever been with a woman. Like, she clearly is interested in women or interested in a woman, you. What they need now is a rapid growth drama fertilizer and a little bit more of time. Wait, what was the story? Um, what was the story? Hold yeah, on, I'm gonna miss story. Like that. Apparently you were inviting Summer to then CrossFit three years ago. Them. How about you sit down, right? bitch? I'm sorry, what'd you How say? How about you sit the fuck down? Tampa Bay's may not be perfect, but I would definitely watch eight seasons of it. Finally, season three of Hannah has returned, and I can't wait to see what happens with lesbian character Jules and young assassin Sandy, as they are getting suspicious about Hannah's true intentions. For more sapic and queer inclusive content, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to Lesbian Mojo and ring the bell to support this channel. Thank you. And while visibility is important, if not crucial, it is not enough to have LGBTQ characters to win an LGBTQ audience. There needs to be a variant and deep to their story, as they must reflect the full diversity of our community. I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for watching. Tu vivrai con me.